Hey y'all, welcome back to Bass Box and Outdoors. Uh, today, we are going to be looking at the Florida Tackle Club for the month of September. And for those of y'all that don't know about Florida Tackle Club, they are a uh, every other month box. They, uh, instead of getting one every month, you get one every other month. Uh, they personalize each box to you on the, based on the waters you fish and based on how you fish, you know, like finesse, uh, power, heavy, uh, you know, basically however you fish, they can create a box designed for you, which makes them totally different from a lot of uh, other box companies. Uh, so yeah. They are a little bit on the high high end. I mean, they're like forty something dollars a box. Uh, they're not a profit box. You don't get like a bunch of uh, extra value for your box. But they do send you a lot of good baits. Uh, a lot of times you'll get new baits in your box that have just been released. Sometimes they're not even out on the shelf yet. So that's really cool. And uh, Rick over there. Rick or Vic is a really cool dude. He a lot of times whenever you sign up, he will personally call you and talk to you about your fishing, how you like to fish, and where you fish at, and baits that you don't like to fish with. Uh, so that's really cool. Uh, so, anyways, let's uh, get into this box. Uh, I have to say, in my opinion, I think this is probably the best subscription box out there. That is my opinion. I would like to know what y'all think. For those of y'all that have Florida Tackle Club, or even those that don't, you know, uh, let me know what y'all think. And as always, thanks for uh, watching. Uh, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up. That way YouTube's... Uh, knows that y'all like it and that way new people can find the channel and we can get this channel growed out with that said let's get into this month's box oh yeah one other thing i was gonna tell you they have uh upgraded their boxes so now they're actually the size of a normal like mystery tackle box used to their boxes were real real thin and real little and i always wondered how they managed to get all the baits in the box because i could never get them back in it so props to them for the new boxes let's get into it And normally when they send you a box, they uh, send you a little letter. And it's a little personal letter to you. Uh, and I like that. That's little, little things like this are really cool and they mean a lot. And uh, I really appreciate them for that. Uh, this one says, Dear Dwayne, uh, hope you've been doing well. Thank you for being a, a one year Florida Tackle Club member. Wow, I've already been there a year. <laughs> Hope you enjoy this selection of lures, Tightline, Vic, and the Florida Tackle Club team. So, usually you get one of these, and like I said, I just really appreciate the little things like that. Wow. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff in this box. So, first off, they start us off with a Chase Baits Wiggle Bomb. And this is really cool. I love Chase Baits. I love their products. I just started uh, using them this year, I wanna say. Yeah, this year. And uh, man, the realism and the actions of their baits are really, really good. Uh, this bait I've been really wanting for a long time and uh, I've heard a lot of mixed reviews on it. I've heard that it tears up easy. And I've heard it catches a lot of fish. But once it starts catching fish, it seems to tear up. So 
I don't know. I've never had one. So this is awesome. I'm happy about this. So you got the little wiggle bomb. The color is uh, bronze. Uh, it's a 2.3 inch bait and it weighs 0.7 ounces and it's a slow sinking bait. <clears throat> uh, so this one seems to be tied down to the back of the box so we're going to pull this out and get it undone. Well that's kind of cool. They tie it up in there I guess so it don't move all around but it will. Okay. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. My throat's a little stopped up. All right, so they tape down the tail, and then they tie this up back here with a little bread tie. All right, so first impressions. I like it. It's cool. It seems to be made out of like of a Laztec material uh so it's a little tadpole basically that's cool and like i said it's a slow sinking so yeah that's really cool i like that like i said i've never had one i've seen them a hundred times but i couldn't justify to bring myself to pay for it especially if it tears up as easy as they say but I will definitely give it a shot and see if it's worth the money. So they started us off good. Chase Bait's Wiggle Bomb. Next up, we got a Live Target Swim Bait. This one's in a Sunfish. Uh, it's three and a half inches and weighs half an ounce. The color is uh, bronze bluegill. And it's a medium to slow sinking. Uh, can't ever go wrong with live target stuff. Uh, let me get the staple out of here. I've had a few uh, baits from live target and they seem to work pretty well. I had a swim bait kind of like this, except it wasn't a swim bait, it was more of a, of a top water bait. Okay, so it's just a little low swim bait. Looks like, I mean, it looks like a real bluegill. It's got that big old hook, and then it's got a wide, wide paddle tail, which is gonna flush through the water pretty well. Uh, so yeah, it's got a place down here where you can put a treble hook. So all in all, not a bad little gig right there. So they've done good so far. So we got the sunfish from Live Target. Next up, we got some, wow, these are some huge <laughs> hooks. Uh, trophies, trophies, gambler hooks. These are uh, ADOP, wow. Uh, three count. Some big old uh, swim bait hooks. Next up, we got the Berkeley Skinny Cutter 110. And the color of this is Sexy Vapor. And like I said, it's 110 millimeters, which is uh, 4.38 of an inch long and weighs 7 sixteenths of an ounce and dives 3 to 6 feet. And that is perfect. Uh, 
can't ever go wrong with Berkeley baits. And uh, time of the year is going to be perfect for jerk baits. I just actually ordered a bunch of uh, jerk baits off of Shop Carl's to get ready for this time of year. And that right there is a perfect color. Uh, kind of reminds me of the Pro Blue color. Except it's got a little bit of chartreuse and got some little bluegill color going on up here. But all in all, man, that thing looks really nice. Got some sharp hooks. I imagine it has those fusion hooks on there. Yeah, the Fusion 19. And if I'm not mistaken, I think this is a pretty new bait by Berkeley. So, that's always nice. I know I've got their, uh, the hit stick. And that little bait worked good. So, I don't imagine this one's going to work just as well. Next up, we got some Elastec Finesse Worms by Z-Man. Uh, pumpkin, 10 pack, 4 inch. I don't think I have any of these. Not from Z Man. Okay. And yep, made out of a last tick. I do know that Z Man does make a couple of baits that are not made out of a last tick. I do know that. Uh, but yeah, you got this uh, green pump or just your pumpkin worm, a little finesse worm, which would be great on a drop shot. And like I said, coming up on fall, these little finesse baits right here work really good. And once again, you can't ever go wrong with Z Man. And like I said, it's a 10 pack. Shoot, that pack right there probably lasts you a year. Okay, uh, wow. Uh, huh. This is something I ain't ever seen from Gambler. Y'all see how big this package is? Uh, this right here is the six and a half inch easy new shed. There's four of them in here. Wow. Now I see why they sent me that big old set of hooks but look how big that thing is this thing is huge got a big old paddle tail on there uh, this right here is uh, I've got a bunch of the smaller ones and they work really well and like I said this is a six and a half inch you know, really, that's not that bad because I've got the Mega Bass swim baits and they're six inches. So, just this one, just I don't know, it's, it's different. <laughs> the color, of, uh, the color of this is, I guess, New Shed, uh, which is like a smoky gray shed from the Zoom color. But you can see you got your little hook slots on both sides got that garlic smell to it but yeah that thing is uh definitely not something i was expecting that's for sure <laughs> wow but anyways uh so yeah you got these those are six and a half inches uh to four count next up we got some uh jerk bait hook from a uh, mission fish and lure company this is a one sixteenth ounce three aught uh basically a weighted belly hook i notice like every time we get hooks or something a lot of times i get one, at least one pack from these people and i will tell you if you ain't ever used any hooks from these people they're really good hooks uh really sharp well built so and that's a three pack and then last but not least we got some uh savage gear 3d lizards in a four inch and these lizards right here i've got a i got a pack of these i bought some 
and uh, I bought the six inch. These things work really well. I am happy to get the four inch though, just because of uh, the way fall's coming on. And, uh, you know, finesse is the way to go. But these lizards right here are unlike a lot of lizards. Really like the color, too. Definitely has their scent. But this right here looks like a salamander. Like a real life salamander. Got the little legs with the little appendages, you got the tail. I mean, this thing's pretty wicked. So yeah, that is uh, that. And like I said, you can't ever go wrong with Savage Gear. I love Savage Gear. They're uh, soft plastics or something else. And uh, what color is this? Mud bug. Yeah. Uh, these things really do work. <clears throat> and then you got your sticker. So let's uh, do a little recap. We got the Savage Gear 3D Lizards. We got the mission hooks we got the gambler go fish uh, six and a half inch easy sheds in uh, the color of new shed and then you got the z-man finesse worms then you got the big old hooks for them swim jigs. And that's another thing I was going to say. 99 times out of 100, they're really good about sending you hooks to match up with anything they send you. Just like they sent me those hooks, those other hooks I can rig up for the lizards. So, And then you got those hooks to match those big swim baits. Uh, then you got the Berkeley Skinny Cutter 110. And then you got the live target swim bait. And then you got the chase baits wiggle bomb. So, with that being said, what do y'all think? Uh, I'm just going to tell you, it to me, you know, you get this box every other month. And the more and more I've been getting this thing for a year now every box continues to get better if not it doesn't ever go like below my standards of what i would think would be a good box you know they always seem to send me stuff that i'm willing to try that i normally wouldn't get but also fits the style of fishing that i do so it's really cool you know uh like i said i've never even seen a gambler six and a half inches anywhere uh so that's really cool i like those I like the wiggle bomb. I like I like everything to come in there. There ain't nothing in there I won't use. And that's how you tell if you got a good box. Uh, you know, a lot of these boxes you get, you either get sample packs of hooks, you get sample packs of baits. And you know, whenever you buy a box, you don't want to get a sample pack of anything. You know, you want full packs of hooks. You want full packs of baits. And that's what really separates this company from the rest of them. You know, there's other companies out there that do good about it, like Six Cents. They don't send you sample packs of anything, so that's good. Uh, uh, I think Major League Fishing and Bass Baits Monthly. But all in all, this right here has got to be the best fishing subscription box out there. A lot of people don't know about them. And if they do know about them, they don't buy from them because simply they think it's a saltwater box or they think it's for Florida residents only because of the name. Uh, but I remember back whenever me and Steve from Get Your Fish On first started talking, 
I seen his videos on this right here and he told me about them so I went ahead and got them and I haven't been disappointed since. Uh, so anyways with that in mind let me know what y'all think. I, you know, I like to see hear y'all's feedback on what y'all think about this box. You can go back and watch every one that I've unboxed un and see that every month that I've done their box, like I said, they do it every two months. So they've been great. Uh, I really love getting that box. This is one box that, you know, I'm always happy to get. Uh, so anyways, with that being said, Thank y'all for watching. Uh, I really appreciate y'all taking time out of y'all's day to watch this video. And like I said, leave that thumbs up to help my channel out and help it grow. And leave a comment and let me know what y'all think about this. Is, is this the best box out or do you disagree with me? Thanks for watching and I'll see y'all on the next one.